What is up guys, Eric here from Real Film Reviews bringing you another movie review, this time for the new Jamie Foxx film, Sleepless. Sleepless stars Jamie Foxx, and he's about the only person in this movie that matters, so he's the only person I'm going to say. And it tells the story of Detective Vincent Downs, who has somehow gotten himself mixed up in a problem where somebody's kidnapped his son because they want something from him, but they hid it in the trailer, so I won't say it. But basically, it's about a guy who's trying to get his son back, and he's a cop, and he's supposed to be the hero of this film and he's going against drug lords and casino owners and all this stuff and it takes place in Vegas and it all happens in one night and that's why it's called Sleepless. Baron Bo Oder directed this film. He's a Swiss man who's done a few films in Germany and uh, for the most part those films seem to have been reviewed quite well and he's a sort of a loved uh, director over there but he came to America, this is his first film. This is actually a remake of a French film called Sleepless Night and uh, I have to say I hope the French film's a lot better than this one. Jamie Foxx is fine in this film. Dermot Mulroney's fine, T.I.'s fine, everybody that's in this movie does fine, I guess. Nobody's really bad, they're all just kind of whatever. They all have their scenes where they're better, and they have their scenes where they're worse, and that's just that. The action, at times, and at, when I say at times, I mean really rarely at times, is fun. It's kind of interesting, and I think that that's mostly to give props to the director. He does some very interesting stuff with the camera in some of the fight scenes, and that makes those fight scenes that otherwise would feel more generic at least feel a little better, but he only does it with a couple fight scenes. The one thing about this story that's actually good, though, is that once they get to the casino, the film becomes a contained thriller. They don't leave that casino. All of the action takes place there. All of the key figures in the story show up there, and that's where the whole story sort of comes to a head and everything is solved and all the action takes place. And that was a really interesting idea if it would have just been handled better. The story of this film, though, is really poorly thought out and cliche. I don't know about the French film. Maybe it's not as cliche or anything, but this one sure is. It's real bland, it's real stale, just like the action. The action of this film becomes stale about around the second fight scene because it's the same thing in like every single fight scene, but that's not my biggest issue with this film. There's nothing special about it. It's got a stereotypical villain that isn't really that cool. The first scene you get with him makes it seem like he's going to be really interesting, but then he ends up being pretty bland. But whatever. An action movie can have a bad villain. It can have mediocre action. It can do all that stuff. But as long as the story works, it could be good. That's what's really there. The story has to be there. And I gotta say, Sleepless is like a drunk dude who fell down a flight of stairs idea of a good action movie because it takes his favorite things about John Wick, Die Hard, and Taken and puts them into one film, but none of them work. Now let me run through this for you real quick so you understand where I'm coming from. This movie is a contained thriller with one hero who is a police officer. Remind you of anything? Oh yeah, Nakatomi Plaza in Die Hard starring Bruce Willis who plays John McClane, one of the best action movie heroes of all time and also one of the best action movies of all time. So you take that, you take the contained thriller solo guy cop, but then we want to take from John Wick the idea that he is fighting in nightclubs and we get some cool lighting because it's a casino and he's fighting all these dudes that are like scary looking hitmen people. So you get that from John Wick and you're like, okay, we'll combine those two. But they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. We also need a reason why he's there. What if, stay with me, what if we had them kidnap his son like Taken? So then they're like, hey, let's get like that, and then he's like Brian Mills, Liam Neeson's character in Taken. And then you shove all three of those together to make what should be the greatest action movie of the 21st century, and then it turns out to be shit. This movie takes the idea of a contained thriller with one average man just like Die Hard, but ruins it because there's no comedy. That's what makes that movie great. There's a dichotomy between him and the character that he talks to outside, played by the dad from Family Matters. It's funny. He makes jokes to the villains. It also has a great villain in that film. But it doesn't work in this movie. It's not funny. There's nothing about it that's funny. There's no other characters for him to interact with that make it entertaining. And then you say, but what if it's like John Wick and we put him in nightclubs and stuff? Yeah, you can do that. 
But guess what? Your hero, Vincent Downs, doesn't have any of the fucking skills that John Wick has. He's god-awful. He shoots like a whole two people in this whole movie. He doesn't even know how to hold on to his damn gun in any scene. And then to add to that, you put him in these cool places, but it doesn't work. So you're like, yeah, he's like John Wick because of the places we put him in the music. And then you're like, oh, but he'll be like Liam Neeson because he's saving his kid, right? No, because Vincent Downs couldn't beat up a toddler who's missing an arm. The dude loses like every fight he gets in. Brian Mills in Taken, Liam Neeson's character, is a god with his hands. He destroys everybody that swings on him in that film. Vincent Downs is supposed to be an average guy like John McClane. I get it. But then you also want him to be like John Wick but he doesn't have any skills with his weapon whatsoever. So you're like, okay, whatever, every fight he gets the gun knocked out of his hand, so you never learn that. We'll just make the setting like John Wick. So then you do that, and you make it so he's supposed to be like Brian Mills in Taken, but then he can't even fight with his hands! In the trailer, sure, you can cut together a couple cool punches that he lands, but for the most part, this dude's trash at fighting in this movie, and that's a fact. His son has to help him, all the time in this movie. All the time. He'd be dead if it wasn't for his damn family in this film. And that's why this movie's so trash. Your hero is not lovable, he's not good at fighting, and he's not entertaining. He's garbage overall. Liam Neeson's scary. He's stoic. He can destroy you with one pinky. John Wick is fun. It's energetic. It's electric. It's got really lively action sequences with great gunplay. And then you have John McClane in Die Hard. He's funny. He's lovable. He's a real guy. You lose all of the things that make those three characters great when you try to combine them into one. And that's exactly what this movie did. And it's why this movie sucks. I'm going to give Sleepless a D. This movie has nothing really to offer in the action category. It is bland, done before, boring, nothing about it should make you want to go see this in theaters. I don't care if you're the biggest Jamie Foxx fan in the world. This movie's not going to do anything for you, and uh, if you really want to go see it, go check it out because I don't think I'm going to be able to stop you. Well, guys, as always, I'm Eric. If you enjoyed this review, please do like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of Sleepless, share everything we do here on Real Film Reviews, and I hope to see you guys later.